Hi everyone and welcome to my place. You know, sometimes uh, all a room needs is just a bowl of flowers. And I think that one of the most beautiful flowers is a magnolia. They are so elegant and the, the, these, they've got a refinedness to them that's just exquisite and they just look perfect in any room. So today I thought I would share what I do at my place and this is one of my all-time favorites and it sits on the dining table. So let us talk through what we've got here. I've got a vase here, I've just painted it. There's lots of recipes for my chalk paint all scattered all through Astor's place but pretty much this is just my cheats, easy peasy chalk paint a third of a cup of plaster of Paris, a third of a cup of water, mix it well, add it in with a cup of flat matte acrylic paint, slap it on, allow to dry. Now, the reason why I have painted this black is because when you look into the magnolias, that dark, dark, dark brown complements and is a lovely transition through from the black. So the eye hits this black and then it comes up and then it meets the lovely brown, lighter, lighter tonal value of the black. Beautiful pictures already starting to form. Now I've got two of these, I've put one on this side and one on the other side. And with the third, I'm just going to put that into the middle. Now I'm gonna let that fall that way just because I felt that that's what I would like. So look at this, we're building this beautiful picture just with magnolias. The next to go into there are some lovely magnolia greens. So I'm just gonna bring one in and over to there and I'm bringing the leaves into the center of my design for the reason, the reason being is because I've got a lot happening out the sides and I need to put a bit of weight and bulk and anchoring into the center. And I just love how you've got this, the lovely black, the lovely brown of the branches, and then your eye hits the lovely green plane of the leaves. And on the reverse of that, it's got that lovely clever rustiness that nature does. So I'm gonna put two of those into there. One can go over to there and I'll just bring that one up and over to that side. So it's more of an elongated, so when you look at it, there's a little bit much more bulk on this side and just a little bit over there. But that's okay, because I wanted something that looked like I just went outside and picked it. Magnolias are one of my most favorite flowers and being one of the oldest flowers on earth, round about the same time as dinosaurs, they just, are so resplendent that they need nothing except themselves. Now to this I wanted to add a little bit of frostiness so I'm just going to bring in a little bit of eucalyptus which I'm just going to push in and over to there and then with that I'm just going to bring in the smaller shorter pieces of magnolia and I'm going to bring that one up and over into there. So these little ones I'm just stepping up and into the centre, oh no I don't want that one there. I think I want that down there and I'm just going to bring that down into there. So you've just got the simple elegant design. Two greens, the lovely grey mistiness of the eucalyptus, the beautiful green plain all value tones and planes of the leaves, just the magnolias. Now if you were looking for something else that you might like to add to that, I really love these flopsy mopsy peonies. So with these, because it's a bigger form, I'm just gonna take that into the middle. With this one, I'm just gonna bring that down over to this side. And these little buds, you can bend and manipulate those. And then with this one, I'm just gonna bring that up and over to the back. So that now when the eye hits it, it goes up and over to there. So now what I've achieved is, I had all of that bulk on this side, and then to the, this height over here, and to just balance it off, just putting a few of those lovely flopsy mopsies, peonies into there. Just beautiful, simple, elegant, no fuss designing. I hope you've enjoyed this. I've enjoyed sharing it with you and I look forward to seeing you all again another day.